I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have very, very disturbing news that RT has put up uh, this morning on a, uh, a, a, a home video that was made of Philadelphia police severely abusing a, a black man in the street after he was already down. In the video, you can clearly hear uh, the black man cr crying out for his grandmother to open the door and see what was being done to him. He was tased three times. It starts off with three police. They already have him on the ground. They are beating him repeatedly. And then they say, as soon as the backup comes, tase him. Now the man is already subdued and they want to tase him. Well, they do tase him and then they begin to beat him again. And then another group of officers come and again, they beat him, they tased him three times. And it is, it is disheartening to see this. And nonetheless, it, you cannot help but wonder why Violence doesn't break out. Protest breaks out across the nation, just like it was with Rodney King many years ago where he was beaten brutally by police officers. And, the, and, and it's just continually spirals out of control. I, am, I have witnessed myself in the past, it's been a number of years ago though, and I just want to say this for the sake of my precious black brothers and sisters in the United States and around the world that suffer abuse like this, that this is a spirit, it seems to be, that come upon policemen because I have witnessed it for myself. I have seen it before with my own eyes. And I can tell you that although, yes, the black people suffer the majority of this type of abuse, uh, they will do it as well to white people as well or even Hispanic people. So I can attest to this for myself. I've seen it, I've been there, and I know exactly what it is. It's like a brotherhood among these policemen. And this is one reason why you'll even see at times where a black police officer may be involved in this as well. They become a brotherhood. And this is going to spiral completely out of control. We have had sources from the White House before that have actually stated uh, that the, that the uh, current administration, the Obama administration, would like to see some sort of unrest happen in this country uh, for this to break out. Now, whether or not we, this is true or not, we cannot verify that, but we've actually had sources from in, within his own administration that have said they would like to see a, a riot break out across the country. And it's this type of police brutality that would actually cause that. And I can only encourage the people not to get involved in such things because it will only turn into a bad situation, a worse situation. But something must be done legally to stop police brutality. If it means taking and firing every single police officer there is and replacing them, then so be it. But nonetheless, even that would not work, uh, no doubt. Now, I can also, as I say, we've uh, I've attested in person myself. I have seen the brutality before. I have witnessed it firsthand. And I can also attest that there are some police officers that are very good, that would not be a part of such evil acts as what you're seeing here on the screen now. Uh, so there are good ones out there, but unfortunately for as many good ones, there's just as many that are evil and that could care less about the common person. And, and, and we do not know from the video what, what this man may have done uh, to start with. Perhaps he did resist arrest a little bit in the beginning. We already know there's a lot of tensions in Philadelphia as it is. Uh, there's already been uh, riots and stuff uh, in different parts of the country because of police brutality. So it could have easily started that way, but once a man is down and subdued, then he should just be handcuffed, taken off, and let justice do its course in that case there. But clearly, this man has been violated uh, to tase him so many times. No wonder why uh, that, that young men like this end up dying in the hands of police custody. How many times can a human body take being tased the heart that the heart doesn't end up stopping as a result of this. This is clear police brutality. And, and I can, and again, I only stress, I, I, I beg of the people to show restraint 
in, 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 in not taking the matters in their own hands on the streets because that is exactly what the government would like you to do. They want to find a reason to blame the economic woes of America on someone else. And if rioting does break out in this country, they're going to blame it on the black people, unfortunately. So it's just one more evil after another evil after another evil. Uh, but clearly, these policemen should all be arrested themselves, and they should all be incarcerated and, and tried uh, in, a, in a court of law as well. But clearly, the tape is, is, is against them. The evidence is right before your eyes. They are everyone guilty and complicit and the evils it has done to this man. I am sorry to have to bring this, but it needs to be brought out. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.